Hello boys and girls, Martin Reed's word here. And God will mind you, and God keep you safe. And take all the blessings of God that God can give you, alright? Because half you need it, and that's the gospel truth. I know it's a couple of days after Valentine's Day, so very soon a couple of you are going to be puking into the toilet and you're going to be telling people, oh, I got a surprise. Well, boys, I'm telling you now, if any of you are saying, yeah, I got a surprise for you, in the next couple of days, well, I'll leave it to you. You, you made your bed, you rode not, if you know what I mean. Anyways, I have an old job interview today, boys, at the door. I uh, walked in, sat down, you know, cock of the walk. I said, uh, I'm here to see, uh, I forgot her name. And they said, oh, we know her. I said, you know her? I said, I never gave you a name. You're Martin, I know, you, I know who you are. You're on Facebook. I said, I might be on Facebook. What's that got to do nothing? And he said, uh, but you're not on the dole. I said, that doesn't mean I can't go in here for an interview, can it? I said, smart boy. I said, how about you get out of my way now, like a good lad? I said, before I give you a wrap of the door card and tap it out. So, I go sit now waiting for this bird to come over. And she said to me, uh, what's your name? I said, Martin Reed Ward. Do you know me? I said, I'm the most famous comedian in the world. The whole world. I said, then mind you, Chris Rocks and your Eddie Murphy's. I said, I'm Martin Reed Ward. And she said, I know you. I said, I know you know me. She said, don't be acting stupid. So, I sat down and she says, right, what, I said, what, what Martin Ward are you anyway? And I said, well, 544, because four, it's about 16,000 Martin Wards on the door. And uh, she said, I'll have you here in the system. I said, lovely, lovely. Tell me now. I said, what do you have in the system? And she said, well, one question here for you, Mr. Ward. And I said, yeah, what is it? I said, before you start now, I said, I wasn't working on getting any Nixers. I said, if, if you've heard any stories about me getting Nixers, that's all lies, all right? I didn't get no Nixers. Oh, well, I'm not even on the full of it all. I don't even have a medical card. And she says, uh, any fixed abode? Oh, boys, 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 boys. I said, I said oh, 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 hold on a minute now. I'm a comedian, man. I'm not a mechanic. What do you mean, fixed abode? I fixed a van, or I never fixed a fucking boat in my life. And she said, no, fixed abode. I said, yeah. I heard you the first time. What are you talking about? She said, I mean, wh wh where do you live? And I said, well, I'm not telling you that now, tell the truth, because you wrapped me out to the revenue, and that's the gospel truth. I know for a fact that you wrapped me out to the revenue. Boys, I got, I got kicked out of the road office anyway. Now, I didn't go without a, without a fight, if you know what I mean. Um, I was screaming and I was roaring and I was telling them, I want every grant available. I want to get a brand of new car and I want to get a brand of new house and I want to get a brand of new pushchair that I can sell down the road to one of yours. And they were laughing at me and I was like, ah, ha 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 ha, laugh away all you want, I said. I said, you're going to come to my old comedy show? This is in the middle of the door office, about 345 people there. I said, you come to my old comedy show? I said, we won't come to your comedy show. I said, well, I'll not be in front of you if you don't come to my comedy show. I will be back here. And I will be on the dole, and then you'll have to deal with me. And she said, turn around to me, she says, have you got, where's the tickets? <laughs> Give me all the tickets that you have, she said. So I sold about 15 tickets inside the dole office, boys. Oh, that's not a bad day's going. For anyone that's out there that thinks that you can't get a bit of work out of the dole office, think again. Think very, very hard before you think about that again.